Hi, I have in my hand here a heavy duty automatic uh, stripping and crimping tool. Okay, it comes in this presentation pack, which is a plastic seal in front of it, a harbour on the back. So, just for display purposes, uh, packaging, I think it's called. So, um, we just have a quick instruction manual here, but we're off to the main event here, which is the tool itself. So, I'm just going to rotate it around, and I'm just going to go through the three major actions on this. The first part here is that we have the actual stripping mechanism here. This top part here is used to hold the cable and strip it. I'll demonstrate that in a few moments. The next part here is there's a cutting mechanism here where you can push in an electrical cable, for instance, and cut it here. And the final part is there's a crimping mechanism here. And what would happen here is that we just compress this and we'd be able to, let's say, press on lows onto, let's say, a light uh, electrical cable, something like that. So we'd have a cable that you don't want to insert directly into, we'll say, uh, a terminal point, you just want to put on a, a, a connector onto the end that will give a good um, a connection on the far end. You can use the crimping tool to do that. So let's go through a, a demonstration of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate this electrical cable here. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to slide it through here. I go as far as the orange guide on the far side. And then I compress it here. So it just slips as I did that. But you can see there what we're after doing. Uh, I'm after stripping off the top of it here and it's just stripped back this small piece of cable. So that's the first thing. We use it here with an electrical cable here. You can have it up to a thickness of 2.5 millimeters, but you can also use it on lighter cables here. I've actually, um, uh, what to call it, I have um, stripped back the top of these electrical cables here. So you can see it works with very, very fine cable as well. And very effective because if you're trying to strip that with a snip, something like that, it'd be very, very difficult to do it. But the great thing about this is the automatic nature of the stripping. The fact that it can adjust itself it's leaning down and it just applies pressure when it gets to a certain thickness, okay? And then it just holds it in position and then automatically releases at the end. The next thing here is the actual cutting mechanism on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate the tool to a 90 degree angle so you can see. So basically I'm just going to push this through here. It come, pops out the far side and what I'm going to do here now is I just come along and I compress this and I just cut it off like that. So very effective then again, very strong uh, um, mechanism on it. Now the third part I can talk about a little bit, can't fully demonstrate because I don't actually have the lugs uh, which we put on the end of the cable to demonstrate this. But if we imagine the scenario where we're trying to compress it on, we'll say, a connector, similar now, I'm going to just put a whole tool for a second and just I'm going to hold up this billboard beside it. And what we can see here is, we can see we have different types of these connectors. So if you imagine having a cable here that you want to wire in, uh, and uh, what you can do is you get the end of the cable, you can wrap it around a screw or something like that. But another way of doing it, far more effective, would be to actually crimp this lug onto the end of the cable and then actually screw it directly onto whatever electrical thing you're trying to connect it to. And you can see here, we have the larger ones are color yellow, then we have blue, then we have red, uh, etc. along here. And if we come along again, with that in mind, and we look at the actual mechanism here, we'll see we actually have colour codes here. So we don't apply too much pressure, you know exactly where to put it. The red, the yellow, and also the blue as well. So it allows us to crimp it there. In terms of the ease and nature of using this tool, um, it's made from hard steel on top here, so it's a strong tool to have perspective. Um, you have a plastic design with a rubber um, outside here with, uh, with rubber grips on it, so it just makes it easy to work with this tool. So um, it's very versatile and it's a good strong quality tool, suitable for both DIY and also professional use. So that's it anyway, an overview of the heavy duty um, stripper and crimping tool.